a few days back i had uh, recorded uh, something about dual nature and then i felt that there were some things which i was not probably very clear on and uh, so i put some uh, uh, some comments in the description uh, however i felt that those are too important to be left just there and therefore uh, today's thoughts uh, the topic is quantum philosophy or uh, perhaps uh, dual nature too so uh, please note that the examples uh, that i had given of things that our minds cannot fathom that is uh, stating the fact that there most certainly are a huge number of things that we cannot know that we cannot know are or were only for your illustration what we really cannot know that we cannot know i cannot obviously give examples of because i cannot know what my and by extension any of our minds for in several matters minds cannot fathom we obviously cannot give or be given examples of we can only know that there have to be things that a human mind cannot understand that no human mind can understand that no human artifact can help any human mind understand in fact i take one step beyond that now what i'm saying is that in other words what i'm proposing here is an advance on the classical philosophy that we all sort of intuitively believe in that whatever there is though may not be known but it is knowable by a mind even if that is a supernatural or divine mind what i am proposing is for the want of a better word uh, and taking a leaf out of quantum mechanics which has at its core the high confidence hypothesis that reality is richer than what is observable reality is richer than what is observable so my quantum philosophy says that reality is far richer than what is knowable reality is far richer than what is knowable of course knowing knowing is a function of a mind what i hypothesize here is that even though there is no shred of evidence of the existence of any supernatural mind uh, there indeed cannot be can not be a supernatural mind why because reality is far richer than what is knowable by extension imaginable by further extension no mind however divine could have dreamt up a cosmos and said exist and the cosmos came into existence with this i think i have to officially abandon my position of 6.9 level a atheist on the dawkins scale and much against my own discomfort at making grand statements uh, grudgingly creep towards the grand standing of uh, level 7 atheism let's see maybe some more thoughts will occur maybe i'll update this further thanks for now